Hello students, this is S.P. Singh, PGT English from KV Vansaga and this is my video number 4 on Lost Spring. We have already completed the part number 1 and now in this video we are going to start the part number 2, I want to drive a car. So also on the same theme, the theme of child labor, the sufferings of the poor street children. Now a different example has been taken and here in this part number 2, narrator Anis Jung has taken the example of uh, the poor bangle makers. And India's bangle makers are living in a town named Firozabad. It is in Uttar Pradesh. So the plight and the sufferings of these children we are going to discuss in this part. Well, right in the beginning we have been introduced a young bangle maker Mukesh and we have seen Sahib he was no longer his own master but Mukesh the young bangle maker has been introduced to us as somebody who wants to be his own master and begins with a and he has a dream in his eyes and though he's a poor bangle maker, but he has a dream in his eyes and the dream is that, and what is it? I want to be a motor mechanic. This is what he says to the narrator. Well, narrator wanted to know, uh, just test the dream of this boy. Do you know anything about cars? So see his determination. Determination to fulfill his dream, he answered, I will learn to drive a car. So this is, his, though he is poor, but he has a dream, he has a determination. Now the narrator describes what kind of a dream is this. Seeing the condition that these bangle making children, they are very poor. They cannot afford to fulfill the dreams like this. Cannot even think of becoming a motor mechanic. It requires a lot of things. So that dream of Mukesh has been compared with mirage. See this one. His dream looms like a mirage amidst the streets that fill his town, Firozabad. Fine. So we need to understand ki why this simile has been introduced to us. Dream has been compared with a mirage. Mirage, you know, it's a kind of illusion. In a particularly desert areas, uh, it's a kind of refraction of light uh, from a distance looks like that there is water on the surface but when you go closer you would find there is no water at all Hindi mein hum kehte hai Mrik Trishna so this dream has been compared to that Mrik Trishna from a distance it looks like ki yes this dream can be fulfilled but when you actually start fulfilling it start making efforts it becomes difficult so this is a simile introduced to us. Now further narrator discusses with us about this town, Firozabad, bangle making town, center of India's glass blowing industry, bangle making industry. Almost every family making bangles engaged in, all are poor, all are engaged in bangle making business and this they have been doing for generations. Generation after generation sitting around the furnaces welding glass, making bangles, perhaps for the entire nation. See the next paragraph here. Uh, the hazards of working in a glass blowing industry or you can say the bangle making industry have been highlighted to us. Fine, see the third line here. The first hazard is, see, uh, these children have to work in high temperatures very high temperature there and this affects their health badly. Then you can see it is given in dingy cells. Dingy cells means very small unventilated very damp cells. The important thing is there no proper ventilation, no proper light, very dim light. Right? See that one without air and light that has been given, given to us. So because of that uh, they suffer from poor eyesight problems or you can say the brightness of their eyes is lost and they also suffer from 
some respiratory diseases like asthma, like bronchitis, all these things. So the question comes generally, short answer one, uh, hazards of working in a glass blowing or a bengal making industry, so this is the answer of that one. Further we proceed, uh, the living conditions of these bengal makers and for that we have to see Sahib's house, sorry, Mukesh's house. Mukesh takes the narrator to show her his house, right? He tells us that my house is being rebuilt. Come on, let's see what kind of a street is this. When they enter the street, the lane, see that one, please focus on this one. Stinking lane, see that one. Fine. Stinking lane and this one choked with garbage. Please focus on these ones, right? Further, crumbling walls. Fine. So one by one we'll discuss. Stinking lanes. Emitting very foul, very bad smell. And these lanes, these streets are choked with garbage. And what kind of house? Oh, see that one. Uh, houses here have been compared with hovels. Hovels means very small houses. Uh, very poor, kacha houses, right? Like huts. Fine. What kind of walls these houses have? Crumbling walls, collapsing. Doors, wobbly, shaky. Right, when you close and open them, they shake. No windows at all, so no ventilation. And how many people live? Entire family of humans and not only humans. See that one? Animals also living with them. See, this is a satire used by the narrator. Families of humans and animals. See this one, please focus. Satire has been used here. Families of humans and animals coexisting in prim evil state. Right? So, it's a pity, pitiable condition that such a small house and humans and their animals also living, coexisting together as if they are living in a prim evil state. Fine. Okay, so we have discussed the living conditions of these Bengal makers. Now Sahib reaches the house and one by one, one more thing I want to highlight. What kind of house? Half built shack. Thest with dead grass. Focus on these words. So the roof is not a pakka roof, not a concrete roof, but it's a grass roof. So where is the house? Okay, inside the house, you can say we have been introduced to one by one, we have been introduced to the family members of Mukesh. But see the scene inside. Uh, there's a stove, one corner, large vessel on that one, spinach leaves, evening meal is being cooked, aluminium plates, chopped vegetables. So this is the scene, come on. Now, first member of Mukesh's family, see the last but the third line, a frail young woman. A frail young woman, frail, that is very weak, thin, right? She is cooking the evening meal, fine. Her eyes filled with smoke, all these things. And who is this woman? She is wife of Mukesh's brother, because Mukesh's bhabi, right? Sister-in-law. And for family, see these lines, first line, second line. Uh, she is the bahu of the family, the daughter-in-law, right? And she is taking care of three men, her husband, Mukesh's brother, then Mukesh and their father. So she's looking after these three. Now we have been introduced to Mukesh's father, older man, right? When he enters, this Bahu, daughter-in-law, goes behind the wall, broken wall, and she draws her wheel, gungat. Tradition, this is a tradition, custom demands, right? Come on, let us discuss about this man, right? Uh, this old man, uh, impoverished Bengal maker. Right, very poor bangal maker, right, and uh, works very very hard but doesn't earn very much. First he was a tailor, he started his life as a tailor but did not earn much. Then, um, then see, he failed to renovate his house, he failed to send his two sons to school, then he started this bangal making and all those things, right, fine. So, only thing he confesses managed to do in his life is to teach the art of Bengal making to his two sons Mukesh and his Mukesh's elder brother. So this is the condition of the family. Fine. Uh, 
this was further we will discuss in the next video thank you